Today guys we look at a quest reward a legendary drop called the seventh sense and oh man this thing is amazing. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you guys do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the seventh sense is a side quest reward which by the way was an incredible experience in itself. I will share that at the end of the video showcasing the entire mission which was amazing people. No spoilers right now though. The mission in which rewards this weapon is called the Cold Case and you start it with Incurse Haven right here. Doing this mission which is slightly lengthy rewards you the 7th sense Jacob's legendary pistol. And as far as I'm aware it only drops off in that cryo element and as of yet I haven't seen any anointed versions of it. But that's not to say they can't drop but I'd presume they can't. So firstly the weapon looks amazing, remind me a lot of the king's cool, I'm sure you'll agree. Something so close and yet so distant, with a party trick of reloading causes spawn projectiles to hit the original target. We will get into what this does and how it works in a quick second. Now we see this has a decent standard damage in around that 4500 mark per shot, with 6 in a mag as well which isn't the worst I've seen, with an accuracy of 66%, 154%, a reload time of 1.9 seconds and a fire rate of 8.4 shots per second, which is quite quick if you do have a trigger finger. So are those projectiles, what do they do and what are they? Well they are very apparent when you shoot this thing. As with every shot, no matter where you hit that enemy, it spawns in one of these projectiles, which you could say linger about, and upon you reloading the weapon they track and hit that target you were shooting at. Now if you were shooting at one target and it dies and you reload, they don't track another target, they only track a target you were shooting before you reloaded. And if that is multiple targets, yes they will track multiple targets. Damage wise these are amazing because it seems as though they actually match damage depending on where you hit that target. So the body shots from these projectiles, these seeking projectiles, basically do the same damage as your initial shot shooting this weapon. Same as crit damage too. And in total depending on the actual size of your magazine and what you can get that up to, you can in reality double up all that damage. But if you work it out from a standard mag of 6, you can get in reality 600 extra damage when all projectiles seek and hit that target from a single clip. But that would be 600% on that initial one shot, not 600% on the entire clip. But take the mag up to 10, that's more or less a 1000% extra damage of a single shot people that these projectiles can indeed do. And when crit shots do almost 3 or 4 times as much as a body shot, I mean you can hit the body of an enemy, these things can spawn in and hit crit shots. So theoretically it can go even higher than a thousand percent. So what we actually have here people it seems is a weapon which is basically like the original King's Cool, before the gearbox nerfed the King's and Queen's Cool into almost non-existence. Now in terms of power output when it comes to Jacob's pistols many would be comparing up against things like the Maggie which we all know is a fan favourite and if in reality it's anywhere near the Maggie then we know we have a great weapon on our hands. Now one paper isn't as powerful as the Maggie but seeing as it has those seeking projectiles which spawn in and track that target doubling up its damage it under simple maths and testing it is about 80% stronger than the standard Maggie. But in saying that, the Maggie as we know comes anointed, which then in this instance can't be touched, even though still then, damage will be higher, but it isn't significantly higher than this weapon. The seventh sense, although it seems anointments aren't a thing, is still a great and powerful weapon, and one I feel is definitely worth your time getting, and even if you don't think the weapon will do your build any justice, as the mission itself to get this thing is the best I've done so far. So yes, this weapon is up there with the Maggie, no doubt about it, and in many instances people in my opinion is actually a better weapon. Now normally when we go into quest lines, the normal outcome is usually a novelty weapon, one that looks good, does something unique, but doesn't really perform. While well, this does, this ticks all three boxes for a great great weapon. It looks good, super unique and it does perform great. And now guys if you don't want to be spoiled by the mission to get this thing leave now. I will leave you to watch the entire thing it's pretty cool if you ask me and the whole story and theme about this weapon and the quest is something I'd love to see more of going forward. So my thoughts on the 7th sense, it's a great weapon, a great new addition to the Jacobs pistol family, one that is seriously unique and does pack a deadly punch, and I do feel you should at least try this thing out and see how it works for you. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button, but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One. Great. 
Now bring him here, friend. Let's check out this case log. Burton. It's me. Burton. Listen, we're on to something. I've got a hunch. It could be the key to everything we've lost. There's a girl who died, but there's something off about the case. We have to find out what happened to the girl. Damn. I forgot to tell me what her name was. Oh well. How's the case going, from your perspective? Crack wide open? Beginning to crack. What's the current level of the crack? Looks like my journal is full of obituaries. Aha! That's what I was doing in the cemetery. Meet me there. My name's Zanzi Carl, hottest bandit game show hostess on Pandora. I see. I'll try to remember that this time. I'm struggling with this one. Grasping at these sinuous threads, but they slip through my hands like in one of those stress dreams where you can't pick up a bottle. Or is that just me? Burden! Birdie bird! Burk, burk. Hey there, friend. No need to fret. I'm here. You've got secret passageways and you weren't gonna share with old Zane boy? What can I say? Guess I'm just mysterious like that. Besides, a man's gotta have some secrets he keeps just for himself. <clears throat> now, let's cross-reference these obituaries with the graves around here and see if we can find the girl. This Lyle Pittman fella kicked the bucket trying to give CPR to a zappy critch named Elmer. That he loved? Well, that's a new one. That's... <laughs> I've got that obituary right here. This lass, Audra Mayhew, went missing, presumed dead. Looks like she was blathering on about a fish cleaner. That sounds quite familiar, actually. Some mad boyo named Brad with two T's. Croak trying to taste the danger. My kind of fella, that one. Yeah, that was a wild story. Tell you about it. This smells like a dead end. But I've got a hunch. But I always thought my name. Let's check out that crypt. Go in there. Huh? You're scared of dead folk? No, it's not that. There's this whisper of memory. Uh, go on ahead. Find the girl. She'll be safe in here. I made sure nothing will ever disturb her again. I hope, wherever she is, she can forgive me. I'll never forgive myself. The painting is the key, so I'll keep it with me to make sure she can rest in peace. Well, that was definitely me. But why would I be carrying a painting? Oh, huh. would you look at that? I uh, do have it here in my trench coat. I have no memory of this. Uh, come take a look. It's me in the painting. 
This speaks to me from the far side of a char-black chasm. An echo of an echo. Here, take it. I can't look at it anymore. There's something wrong about it. Something missing. Just try putting it back where it belongs. Found a weird little boxy thing on a grave that says Iris. Iris? That must be the girl. Stir something in me. Something pecking at the fringes of my mind. Bring me that box. There must be a connection. Symbol. I recognize it. The artifact has been recovered. Hand it over, wretch. It's not meant for you. Looks like they're after the box. Not today, friends. Thanks for your help with all this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my secret passages again. And no, you're not invited. I'll see you at the gunsmith's shop. Thanks for meeting me. Now down to business. We've got to unravel the mystery of that box. Let's see if the gunsmith is in. Hartford, let us in. We gotta talk. Who's there? Don't you know it's renewal season? Can't open the door for just anybody. No, Hartford, it's me, Bert. I mean, Bert. Oh, why didn't you say so? Come on in from the cold bed. Hey, old friend. We are old friends, right? I need you to take a look at something we found in the cemetery. <laughs> oh, taking a grave robbing then, have we? How charming. Well, give it here. Let's take a look. Go on then, give it to him. Based on the maker's mark, I'd say this was the work of my grandfather. Now there was a man of many secrets. Always played it real close to the vest. 
Also always war vest. Classy fellow. Let's see if we can get her open. Well, well, what do we have here? This is exquisite. Well, quit it with the suspenseful pause already, fella. What do we find? It's a pistol, but it's been merged with some kind of Iridian technology. Quite a rare artifact you've got here. Let me take a look at that, old friend. I think this was mine. Holy hellfire! Friend, I'm gonna need you to take this. Now, if you've got the stomach for it, look through the scope, right over there. And tell me what you see. Either way, let me know when you're ready to move on. Well, a ghost or something. That's a new one. So you did see it. Incredible. This is a bottomless well of secrets. And all we're hauling up are more questions. My hunches are telling me there's more to discover on this case. Been thinking about that painting, and I finally placed it. It was a room in the archives, the art gallery. But there was a shadowy, ominous presence. The next knot to unravel has got to have something to do with that room. I'll make my way to the archive. Meet me there. this long without learning how to handle a lock. Give me a sec while I pick it. Never mind how to shoot. scope, friend. There may be things hiding in the shadows of reality.
find you. Burton, come and join up with me. You're gonna want to see this with your own eyes. On my way! Then took care of all the monsters. Thank you. I don't know why I'm here, and I don't know why those things were trying to get me. What's your name, little lass? I'm, I'm Iris. I think I think I can leave now that those things are gone. I want to go home. Is she okay? What happened? What the hell is going on? Met a little ghost lass, cute as a button she was. Said she wanted to go home and poof, disappeared. Her name was Iris. That name again? Wait. What is that? Clear away that fog. A lost key and a forgotten lock. I remember now. We had a house, uh, a cabin in the Cankerwood. It was just the two of us. Iris. She's my daughter. Oh, jeez. That's... Oh. Jeez. You gonna be all right? No. But if that portal thing is the key to seeing her again, it's coming with us. Grab it for me, would you? Let me hold on to that. And this all has something to do with that pistol. Let me tinker with it and see what I can do. I wasn't always a private eye. I mean, I don't remember. Iris said she was going home. So that's where we're going. Meet me at my old cabin in the Cankerwood. But feel free to take your time. I. I have a lot to solemnly ponder while I stare hard-eyed into the distance. Got a new case I'm looking for help with. Oh, you're here. You'll... I have to excuse my wandering mind. This has all been a lot to take in. I know now. I know that I forgot her. Curse or no curse, how could I do that? What kind of a man am I? I'm sure it wasn't your fault. Don't beat yourself up about it. I used the scope on that pistol to focus the effects of the portal device, thinking you might be able to create a window into the wherever she is now. Now, let's set it up outside.
gonna, you know, do anything? Trust the hunches, friend. Trust the hunches. Okay, I don't know. Maybe shoot the damn thing to kickstart the dimensional servos or whatever. away from that thing. I can't, Papa. I'm sorry. Wait, Iris! We have to go after her. Just a quick jaunt out of the known universe. I'm game, let's go! That's new. A lot of new things today. I can't.
Looks like you're gonna be all right, little lass. Oh, good! They're in the real world now. Walker, will you? Hit a cow's arse with a banjo. No little lass, but I've got a notion. Come along then. Till death do us part. Hey there, bud. As soon as we went into that place, I... I remembered everything. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't relive that moment again. When it happened, it... broke me. And I've been trying to put the pieces back together ever since. Please, tell me she's safe now. Tell me she's at peace. Come on down from that perch. There's someone who wants to talk to you. Huh? Papa. Oh, sweetie. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. I... I couldn't save you. It's okay, Papa. Don't cry. No, it's not okay. It's never gonna be okay. Because you're gone. I'm so sorry. I forgive you, Papa. And... I think I can leave now. No. I love you too, sweetie. Always. Listen, uh... <clears throat> I'll never be able to thank you enough for everything you've done for me today, but... Thank you. For now, though, uh, I think I need to be alone for a while. 